Hello and welcome to We Never Met, the podcast where I have a person that I've never met before in person. I mean, I, I kind of feel like, because I, I follow you on Instagram, so I, I feel like I know you a little, even though I don't. Yeah. Do you get that sometimes? I actually, yeah. This I, is Nate, by the way. <laughs> yep. My name's Nate Baumhoff. Um, How would you describe yourself? Would you would you say photographer first if you were talking to people, or would you say other whew, things? That's tough, because I guess I'd... I, I'm multifaceted, I guess. So, yeah. I mean, I've got... You're a renaissance man. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm working on. Yeah. So, I've got photography. That That's kind of my hobby, I guess. Yeah. And first and foremost, I'm a pharmacist. Okay. So, um, so you, you know. So, you do that during the day. Well, do you work weird hours? Because it's like a Tuesday today. It's I have off, but... Almost like a seven day on, seven day off kind of deal. But oh, that's kind of really like... Nice. I don't know. It's it's a little more complicated than that. So yeah, yeah. I've got a rotation, a two week rotation. So I've got a heavy week and a light week. So oh, cool. I'm in the middle of my heavy week right now. So oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> is it is it bad? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, oh, but okay. then you get just as many days off. So so why do you why did you decide to become a pharmacist? Where did that come from? Because uh, I don't know a lot of them to well, be honest. I started. I grew up and I uh, I started working at Walgreens when I was sixteen. So okay, I went to school and I started engineering. I was like, ooh, I like math. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do calc two. <laughs> okay. So then I kind of switched gears and I was like, well, I work at Walgreens. I could be a pharmacist. Why not? So yeah. I went there. And I got through it. So here we are. Did you? Uh, initially i guess did you grow up here i grew up in madison area okay so then you moved here for here for undergrad i went to uw okay so that's cool um how'd you like growing up in madison how was that madison was good i was in the suburb of deforest so just a small town farming town nothing nothing too crazy going on no no (laughs) (laughs) did you did you not like because madison's not a huge place to to be did you like living in a smaller community or do you like madison is a great city i love madison but yeah. it's not big enough for my liking i guess okay so um i went to pharmacy school down in chicago i realized chicagoland is just too, too big. big yeah so that's how I when i went too. to uw milwaukee it was it was a perfect size so okay did do you as a pharmacist is there any like weird stuff that happens is it like do you oh yeah yeah all, <laughs> all the, the time. time all the time um, so I work, um, kind of on like a borderline store. So not like, I guess, inner city store, but I, yeah. it's not, you know, mm-hmm. the downtown or I know what the, you mean, yeah. the North shore kind sure, of store yeah, sure, or suburban yeah. store. So you get, you get a very eclectic mix of people coming in. So yeah. I don't know. There's some, there's some great stories. Like what, what, for example, I had a lady come in the other day asking if we did paternity tests and <laughs> I, I mean, we do like me personally, we do, uh, I do it for you? <laughs> a ton of services. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. we just started recently doing HIV testing, oh, which okay. is really cool because there's an epidemic going on, yeah. especially in the city. Um, so, you know, we're just trying to get people tested. Is it the rapid ones where they just kind of break? Yeah. So finger prick. Um, so that's really cool. Yeah, so, that is cool. Um, but yeah, this lady came in, she was furious that we couldn't do a paternity test. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be the person telling you that. Yeah. He is not the father. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This is not Maury. I don't want to, I don't want to no. be, I don't want to do this. <laughs> so, um, other than that, I mean, you get your normal schizophrenic patients. Um, yeah. I mean, you can see that on the street. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Uh, we had this lady, she's got to be in her fifties claiming that she was 12 years old and she just got kidnapped and couldn't find what her do you parents do in that situation. Like just, you just kind of let them go. I mean, yeah. she wasn't there for us. She was just wandering around the store and yeah. Yeah. Do you, at what point would you like call the cops on somebody? Um, the store manager actually did just because she, it was her third time into the store yeah. within, you know, an hour and she was just causing a scene. So that's not good for business. That's not going to, no. I mean, it was like a dry people into the we're store. trying to make yeah. sure that, you know, she's safe, but at the same time, you know, it, it is business. So, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, if you go out into, you know, the middle of nowhere, um, I mean, way out and, you know. In the middle of Wisconsin. The middle of Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's Walgreens out there, and you get just as weird stories. I was yeah. at a meeting the other day, and this the store was talking about this woman that comes in looking for stuff for her horses, and she literally bring up a bar of soap and be like, "Can I use this on my horse?" So I mean, <laughs> yeah, you get weird stuff everywhere. It's not just in the city. No, yeah, yeah. There's a higher concentration of people in the city, so you're yeah, gonna see more, more people. obviously. Yeah. 
but uh, it's not any different than she just wanted to know if she could use, you know, yeah, everything on her horse, everything on her horse. Yeah, <laughs> you just you just got to. so growing up in Madison. What did you go to high school around there? Did you play sports? In high I school? went to high school in DeForest. Um, played football more so sat on the sidelines, but yeah, you well, know everybody did. I did that too. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was great. It was great. You know, scenery. <laughs> it was great uh people watching people watching was great you can watch people in the stands watch yeah. them you know on the field yeah where did, you're supposed to be is that the only sport you played there that's all i did yeah i mean yeah. besides that i just lifted and kind of did my own thing yeah so at what point did you kind of get more into photo has it always been an, Ooh, an interest photography yeah i've always been somewhat artistic and with my career being more science-based sure um i guess photography or art in general just gives me kind of a an avenue an outlet, to you know outlet, yeah to be creative and you know use that so um i never i didn't buy a camera until probably two years ago three, oh, years, really? three years ago so what were you doing before were you doing anything before that artistic uh, i like to draw um are you good are you, do you no nah, i mean i'm pretty i'm a terrible i mean i could draw drawer. something is drawing a human person mm -hmm. absolutely not and i'm still kind of stay away from portraits and photos oh just do you that's not my thing yeah. cities cities are exciting to me just i don't know like urban planning and that kind of thing is always kind of exciting to me just knowing why a city exists yeah and being able to see like you know why a city grew the way it did or why it's not doing well or sure you know why nashville is doing so great and you know i don't know whatever other city whatever is cities <laughs> not yeah i mean there was an article in new york times yesterday something about you know why nashville is doing so great why is it doing and, so great i mean it's a combination of things but then they were talking about why birmingham's not oh, so okay. um they both started kind of in the same place but you know nashville's just become, become this, this like, like second tier for, city yeah um i think milwaukee's probably in the same tier kind yeah. of you know like it's it's creative people coming together sure, yeah big universities um and just like the government's doing the right things i mean here we got the streetcar the arena yeah those are all huge yeah. things so yeah that's what excites me and just seeing how the city moves and that's i guess what my photography is based on so yeah just getting out and seeing the city um i always like being out with people but i don't like interacting necessarily with the people so. sure yeah you just like to kind of see mm. you go like to watch like kind of see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. So not very... necessarily go, hey, how you doing? Right. I right. like to take a picture of you right, right now. So if I'm like out with flying my drone or taking my camera out, yeah. I don't want to be interrupted necessarily. Yeah. I don't mind if somebody comes up and asks a question, but once you start standing there, then I'm just not comfortable. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah. Um. So, why do you th why do you think that is? Why don't you like the the photog or the portrait aspect of photography portraits are tough because you have Cause to I stay away kind of from that too i don't really do that, that you have much. to capture emotion and i guess i'm not a big emotional person sure and like seeing other people get emotional can i don't know it's it, just hard yeah. to capture because you know they're always people are generally looking for a mood when they're taking a photo sure and i'm not one that's going to kind of bring out the best mood or you know draw that out of you yeah. so sometimes it feels just kind of forced and i also not... feel like it's like a weird or it's not a weird but it's like a skill set because like you have to be able to like meet someone like that you probably have never met before interact with them and make them feel comfortable enough right where you're going to take a good photo because like it's on them as much as it uh, is on you it is yeah 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 to and feel comfortable and, it's like, interesting to me because i know i know some models and i know some yeah some portrait photographers and it's always interesting to me because I feel like the model's trying to get paid yeah. and the photographer's trying to get paid. So at what point, like, how, how does that dynamic work? Yeah. Do, they, do you pay each other? Do you? I, I have no <laughs> idea. A, yeah. So, no, I I like taking pictures of cities because they're not moving. And... I, yeah, I just like the, the nature aspect of, like, going out and doing, like, portrait, or not portrait, but, like, landscape photography and, like, just being out there. Landscape, That's cityscape. Yeah, I mean, like, when I went to Yosemite this last summer, it was all, it was great because, I mean, you're you're yeah. going places, you're trying to capture... I mean, for me, the big thing is to try to capture something in a way that nobody else has captured it. Sure. So, I mean, there's so many people out there that are just, you know, copycats. Or even here taking, in Milwaukee, like, here, all the yeah, art, I mean, uh, art museum. The thing is, photos. the art museum is such a... I mean, it's, it screams Milwaukee. So, I mean, people are going to like that yeah. regardless. So if you're going for likes, the art museum is perfect. Yeah. If you're going to be a little something like trying to be different, then I mean, you got to try to yeah get outside the box. 
And I guess that's what I try to do. Or if I'm taking a picture of something that's been viewed before, yeah. I try to find a way to make it different and, and shed it, I guess, show it in a light that it hasn't been seen before. Well, that, so. yeah, that's the thing with the, with the art museum. It's like you can take in Milwaukee, that's like a very iconic place to take pictures. And there's mm. so many of the same shot of that exact right. structure. Straight on, straight but on from the back side. Yeah. When you see something different, like when you see a different like perspective of that, it, it is really cool. You know, to see it. And, you know, do you follow uh, Brian Daniels on... Brian Daniels, yes. He he just did that recently. He just took a, a picture of the art museum, but it was, like, very different. And I was like, well, that's really cool. Right. You know? I mean, there's some super talented uh, talent here in Milwaukee. Yeah. And I, it's really exciting you to being see one kind of, of... Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I was trying <laughs> to you, see, you know, you. where they're taking things. And I guess it causes you to kind of step your game up and you're you know like you know you don't oh, yeah. want to replicate what they're doing and i mean i'm trying to push them just as much as they're pushing me so yeah um i yeah. guess that's my own personal competition so i just i also think it's cool because it's a very like collaborative and supportive community too oh huge it's, it's not like just creatively here in milwaukee in general it's not like i'm gonna try to because i feel like here because i lived in la for a while and there it was all about like you want to do this for a career, you know? So it's like climbing, you know? Right, Whereas right. here, it's like a lot of people just really genuinely like to do it. Right. Whether it's a career or not, eventually doesn't matter. They right. just like to do it. Yeah. And so they're supportive of the art, you know? No, that's exactly it. I mean, I've talked to a few people in, you know, the Milwaukee creative community, and it's interesting because there's some people that are out there, you know, and they're trying to make a good career, yeah. which is great, and yeah. I'm going to support you. And then there's some people that are just doing it like a hobby, kind of like me, you know, just yeah. screwing around with the camera when you have some free time yeah um but oh, most of them are supportive uh, there's a few of them out there not gonna <laughs> you know who names. you are <laughs> yeah um but i feel like they've gotten ego now i don't know like just from they've... like base of like their their following and stuff now or yeah, yeah i mean like i'm the kind of person that if you're gonna comment on something or you know if you're gonna see me in public and say something i'm gonna i'm gonna respond to you yeah but there's a few people out there you know like you're trying to support the local people <laughs> yeah. i'm all about supporting the local people the so local stores and everything yeah um i mean at least you know take two seconds and say hey thanks you know yeah exactly uh, and i mean i guess that's just I, I feel like that's a midwestern thing though yeah you know just be grateful right you know be right. be humble and like uh, these uh, these people like care enough to say something right which is hard enough to do in general right you know right um but then I also get all those spam, you know, oh, yeah. comments, especially I mean, on Instagram. That's terrible. I mean, those check yeah, out my can, profile. You can weed those out too. Yeah. I mean, I guess for me, the the likes, the followers, mm. that stuff's not my motivator. Just going out and creating something differently and putting something different out there, that is what drives me. I guess you know, if you like my photo, great. If you don't, you know, it's whatever. It's not gonna keep me up at night. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna cry about it. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna try to put something out there. You know that you know, it'll do better next time or maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? Is there a specific photo that you have that you like, liked the best or that you Ooh. thought, wow, that was a really cool shot. It's, yeah. it's funny. Cause I've got a lot of photos like that. Like I'll go take it. I'll be like, Ooh, that this, was, this is going to be awesome. Is, this is my best photo to date. Yeah. And it's really great when people like you post it and people do not like it. And you're just like, <laughs> you're like, I thought this was the best. I mean, it's still the best to me. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a few photos that I've blown up in my apartment and I'm just like, I love this photo. So yeah, I did um, that here myself. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's awesome. But they look great. I think, uh, yeah, I think it was there ever a, cause you got a camera two, you said two years ago. Yeah. So it's fairly new. You, were you taking pictures before on like um, a, just, I mean, I had taken regular camera photos on my iPhone yeah. for forever. Um, but nothing, nothing serious. I mean, once I bought the camera, there's so many different little you know parts to it and different yeah. settings and i'm still exploring the settings like the, i yeah. love long exposure like that's my one i thing. still don't really understand how to do it properly long exposure is it's, really not it's, hard it's just taking just the time to, to do there, it right? and you tripod. need a tripod yeah. yeah which you've got yeah um but yeah i don't know long exposure i that's like the very first thing i went out with my camera because i was like what can't my iphone do that yeah. i've always wanted to do so i was driving back to my parents place yeah and I had just got the camera like an hour before that. It was winter. I got it in November, or December. And what do you What do you shoot on? What camera? A uh, Nikon D five hundred. Oh, cool. Nothing. Nothing fancy. No, you don't um, have to. You don't no, have to. I've still got the kit lens too. That's the only ones I've got. Oh really? So yeah. Wow. I haven't haven't upgraded or anything. Yeah. I've looked into it. Yeah. But you know, the Nikon was always meant to be a starter. So, 
um and it's done great for me so yeah um but yeah long exposure is the first thing i wanted to do and then i love taking pictures of fireworks too that's those are some of my best shots yeah yeah for for i guess for long exposure shots do you just like kind of because i feel like with those you have to have a specific thing in mind to do it otherwise it's just like kind of most of my photos i have in mind before i go take them oh most of them you do Mm -hmm. all of them not all of them uh most like of them, even the drone stuff and drone all. stuff i mentally map out like i know where the buildings wow. are here. really i know the grid of the city pretty well yeah when wow I, when i want to go take a photo i'm like i'll I'll be laying in bed at night and i'll just be thinking i'll be like hmm where can i shoot something that's just different or where can i get a cool perspective of this building or of this and i so like in your mind can you like see the city yeah essentially yeah i mean it's not like a druggy like <laughs> yeah, did no. you see it man no yeah. no like that's how i've always been too like we were on a family vacation down in siesta key florida and i i don't know i really like ice cream so we <laughs> drove past a cold stone and i was like all right there's a cold stone there. i can just build like mental maps in my head yeah so driving down the street we saw it and then we drove into our little place and then later that night i was like mom dad i want to go get some ice cream they're like ah we don't want to go yeah my brother's like i'll go with you so i got in the car and we were driving and i just mentally was able to build a map of the area and i was like i don't know if this road goes all the way this way this is no no map yeah and i was like i don't know if it goes all the way all the way this way but i think if we take this road long enough it should cut back over that's off the key and get us right where that cold stone was my brother's like, no, there's a cold stone over here. So I was like, fine, let's go that way. <laughs> so we went that way. There was no cold stone, but so there was one right where I remembered everyone being. Yeah, and it was so miles. Right. It was like probably ten miles away, and I had never seen this area before. Yeah, but yeah, I just was able to mentally build this map in my head, and that's pretty crazy. I I do a similar thing, but I don't think it's as intense as that. So like, it, how many? That was in like a, what a two hour span of like knowing that. So if you lived in a city for like ten years, you probably oh. know like everywhere. Yeah, no, like back roads. Like that's the one great thing about Madison. I could drive yeah. through Madison through with downtown <laughs> with my eyes closed. Yeah, and <laughs> no, I would do I it. I could take the could. country roads around it pretty well too. Like I've oh, got really? yeah, I've got the whole route. That's I don't know. that's pretty nice. So then you just like in your head, you're like thinking. Oh yeah, this would be a really cool shot. I'm gonna go there at sunset because I can see how it would look. Sunset over sunrise. Um, just, oh really? I do not. I'm not a morning person, so oh, okay. sunsets are always my thing. In the winter, it's hard though because sunset happens at like four thirty. Yeah, and it's so cold. And I it's was, freezing. Yeah, yeah try yeah. flying a drone at sunset. Oh, oh your fingers what? are frozen. <laughs> I actually went out this too. morning with the drone. Oh really? Yeah, it was it was a cold morning. I got up before the sunrise. Did you catch it? Did you catch the sunrise? I did yeah was it good it was a good sunrise um because i feel like sunrise it's cool it's cool of off of the lake with like the clouds yeah. in the distance it was cool um i don't know if i got anything good i haven't looked at the photos i took yet oh, okay so it's see i'm like a very instant person i like I take the pictures am, and go home and i just edit them right away i got home and i was like i'm gonna go back to bed now <laughs> <laughs> so that's true if it's early but do you, I just, especially here in the winter, I feel like the sunsets are a lot prettier than the sunrises. The sunsets are prettier. Um, the tough thing with Milwaukee is the sunsets in the West. I mean, like everywhere, yeah. but, um, the water is on the East. So, yeah, I mean, you if you want that whole water. like beach type vibe thing going on yeah. with the lake, then sunrises can be where you're at. Yeah. Um, but sunsets are always gorgeous. I've had some really good drone shots with the sunset. So how do you feel about drones generally? Cause it, my opinion on drones is is probably different or maybe maybe it's not um, because i guess what's your opinion on them i just i feel like a lot of people use them as a crutch rather than a tool right that's what that's my opinion right yeah so i mean i can see that and it's interesting too i mean i've posted a number of drone shots and those ones generally garner more likes sure um yeah. it's such a unique perspective i think you know? that's exactly it it's, yeah. it's something that you're not able to see um, I mean, it doesn't matter what you capture or what time of day you capture it. Cause nobody's able to get that view. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's just seeing that different perspective. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think you've got to still be creative with it. You can't yeah. just take it for granted. And yeah. And that's how I, that's what I feel. That's why I, I like follow you and I like all your shots and stuff, but there's just like 
all these accounts that are just like straight up just drone. Like literally, the, I feel like they flew up, took a picture, yeah, and then that's it. They're yeah, like, I yep, mean, that's good enough. That I think it does happen that way. Yeah. Um, the thing with drones is you just got to be careful. I mean, there's so many laws and oh, that's true. Yeah, you're certified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got certified just because we're talking I didn't about know. all this and you're actually doing it illegally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Um, I mean, as a hobbyist, you're able to do a lot. Um, just not in certain zones and stuff. Well, I mean, the zones still apply to to the certified people too. Yeah. Um, it's just that um, you can't profit off of being a hobbyist. So if there's um, any way that okay. you're able to profit off of it, so okay. if I wanted to sell photos, then you'd want to get certified. My mother is in real estate, so um, I help her out with some of her real yeah, estate that, photography. That must be really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I've only shot for two homes for her. Okay. I mean, I do it for free as mom. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh she should treat me to lunch which is kind of nice <laughs> yeah. but um i i don't know i feel like i once i started doing that i was like i should just get you know certified just you know is it a hard process to get certified or yeah, you gotta take a test pay some oh, money oh, okay yeah, it wasn't hard nothing cl- you I have mean, to go I, like classes for weeks i got through something. pharmacy school so <laughs> yeah that's true that it's all relative like, though i studied for two hours and i was like i got this yeah that's fine so so do you do you like being a pharmacist i do like being a pharmacist i think it's really rewarding helping um the people helping, you know, I, I love being a pharmacist in the city uh, yeah. in particular. I mean, there's different, there's every Walgreens is different. And I was talking to a different pharmacist too. Yeah. And she's a floater is what they call her market pharmacist. So she bounces around from store to store. Okay. And she was kind of discussing all the different stores challenges. So yeah. I'm lucky to be based at one store. I get the same technicians every day. Yeah. I get the same patients. The patients have gotten to know me. So it's rewarding seeing people. Um, I mean, you've got your sad days too, where you've got a patient yeah. that passes away or, uh, but I guess it's part of life. So, yeah. um, but so yeah, it's you really know rewarding. them pretty well. Like, do you know the people that come in like mm-hmm. pretty well? Cause is, are there regular people that come? There's in? regular people. Yeah. yeah. So the people in the neighborhood, a lot of them are regular. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, a lot of them, this one guy came in, uh, he was like, Hey, do you have any kids Nate? And I was like, no, I don't. He's like, thanks oh. for rubbing it in. He's like, I, I had a whole, I have got this huge collection of baseball cards and you know, I was, if you've got it on boys then I was going to give them to you and I was like, no, go ahead and save them for the next guy. But th- thanks for, you know, thinking yeah. of me. So yeah. I had a patient the other day buy me some candy for Christmas and she's like, here, nice. here you go. Yeah. I guess you don't, you don't like necessarily think about the interactions like that with, with pharmacists, you know? Right. Cause you, you feel like there's like a barrier or something, you know? Right. I mean, the only barrier there is really a counter. Yeah. And I mean, we, we'll come outside of that for you. I mean, yeah. if you're looking for a product on the shelf, we're happy to help find it. You know, if you're looking yeah. for recommendations, that's what we're here for. The big thing with pharmacists now is we're probably the most accessible healthcare provider out there. So yeah, you can like uh, literally do, go to a Walgreens and talk to one. You can talk to yeah, a pharmacist. And I mean, we go through just as much school as a doctor. I mean, yeah. we're not performing surgeries or anything. I can give you a flu shot. <laughs> I can give you any other kind of shot you yeah. probably want. But um, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're we're right there. So stop on by and say yeah. hey. And what what is it? Because you talked about schooling. What how intensive is the schooling for a uh, pharmacy? You got four more years after undergrad, or four years after undergrad? Yep. So there's prereqs that you have to complete. Okay. Um. Then you have to take the PCAT, uh, which is a standardized test. Okay. Once you take that and get your prereqs done, uh, some people get a degree in undergrad. I was a few credits away from biochem. Um. Then you go to pharmacy school, mm-hmm. and that is either a three or four year. Uh, process so okay three full years or you can have four years with summers yeah and i wouldn't do it any other way <laughs> <laughs> um but uh with that once you're done with that you take the naplex and your state's law exam and then okay then you get licensed so, so it's different for every state every presumably. state has their own law exams because yeah. every state has their own laws for pharmacy oh, so okay um i mean i could get licensed in any other state you i guess i just that. have would have to take the test yeah, yeah. So, is there any weird pharmacy laws here in Wisconsin? Mm, I don't think I know a single one. Not weird. No. I mean, most of it comes down to, you know, storing your records. Okay. I mean, because it's all protected health information. You got HIPAA laws you got to deal with. Yeah. Um, there's some weird questions on the test. I mean, <laughs> really? It's like if there's like a nuclear war going on, and there's a bomb that drops near your store. What do you do with the records? And it's like, okay, I hold don't, on. I yeah. don't think this is ever going to happen. But <laughs> I hope it doesn't. Um, the records are going to be the last thing on my mind. Yeah, but and they'll probably be disintegrated by the <laughs> yeah, <right>? blast. <laughs> um, but 
you know, there's always a digital record somewhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's, we're, yeah, that's true. With just social media generally. Right, you right. Sold, I've already sold my soul to yeah. Mark Zuckerberg and everybody else. Yeah, right. <laughs> but um, how do you feel about Instagram generally as a platform, though? Do you like it? Um, do you wish there was different? I do like it. I think it's a good way. Um, my favorite function on Instagram is the places feature where you can go oh. check out places before you go there. Look at that. Yeah, there's a tab under there. It oh, says, okay. like, if you're doing, like, a search, you can search for places. Oh. That is where you will find me most of the time. Yeah. Usually, I don't know. Like like I said, cities and stuff excite me. So if I'm going to a city, I'm going to look at places, oh, see a where yeah. a lot of people are going. Because, one, it'll give you, you know, the big tourist zones. I mean, you're going to see, you know, if you're going to Chicago, you're going to see the Bean. Yep. You're going to see, you know, the Sears Tower. You're going to see Navy Pier. Uh, but besides that, you're going to see people, um, it, you know, different restaurants and stuff. And you can kind of yeah. get a look at the food. You can get a look at, like, you know, the culture of the city. Um, so those are the kinds of things that I kind of look at. And I'm just like, if I go there, I'm obviously going to take my camera. So what do yeah. I want to capture? How do I want to capture it? And I can You kinda... really think in depth about, like, wh- yeah, what you're going to... Everything is very... I, I'm For me, it's pretty calculated. Yeah. I'm I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, really a lot of the photos that I really like are the photos that I just like happen upon. Okay. Yeah, and I just kind of am like there, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I mean, it would be a lot more productive to be like have a plan and go out. <laughs> you right, know what I mean? Right. And otherwise, I just wander. Right. And I feel like if you don't have a plan, a lot of the times what I do is I go to the same places or go around the same places, mm-hmm. which is kind of not creatively stimulating i'm not afraid to you know step outside of my comfort zone and you know take different try different things and go different places and um i think it's it's an important thing to do yeah um but yeah i i don't know i'm good at wandering too yeah because i can build that mental map and just be like hey this is how i get back and you know Yeah. (laughs) yeah 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 um but yeah i'm i don't know is there is there places you really want to go to shoot um right now i really really want to go to london that's yeah that's high on my radar um i'd love to capture the northern lights oh yeah somewhere i'm thinking norway would be cool sweden yeah those would be cool places it's really cold there though and i'm yeah, really cold is. here so especially when you can go capture them it's really cold like, yeah it's the winter yeah yeah so no that's true but um besides that where else? Singapore. I really want to go to Singapore. Yeah, some of their architecture and like buildings. That's are exactly insane. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the architecture and the buildings and everything. Yeah, yeah. That is, I'd like to go to the Maldives before they go under the water. Yeah. Um, I think I pronounced Same it right. Venice. Venice. Yeah, my friends are actually planning a trip to Venice. Oh, are and they? Uh, whatever that city name in Greece is. The what? Sanator. I don't even know. Santorini. I don't know. Um, but uh. I don't know. They're trying to go there next year and they're, Hey, when can you get off work? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to try though. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to try. I've been to Venice before. Have you? Yeah. I studied abroad uh, for six months in Ireland. So I got to go a bunch of places and I went to Italy and I did not like it. You didn't like it? Didn't like it at all. Why not? It was, it seemed really dirty to me and not in a like, um, Cause I, I'm not like a, like a upper class, like snobby person. Right. Like I I'm felt like, no. I just felt like sketched out a lot and okay. it felt very, yeah, just dirty to me. I went to, uh, Rome, Venice and, uh, where else did we go? One other city, uh, Florence. Florence. Okay. And, um, yeah, I just didn't like it. No. It was my, I, my favorite place was France. I love France a lot. A lot um, of like that. Yeah. Nice was really cool. It was right on, uh, the ocean okay on the south of france like right by monaco and stuff right right it was really cool that place um but yeah i didn't like the the, the italian I, I maybe if i went to like the countryside mm-hmm. which would probably be really pretty right but the cities themselves especially rome was bad too yeah no i don't know my friends just went to rome and parts of italy and based on the pictures that they had i was just like i mean they're not photographers yeah so i mean they take decent photos but it didn't seem like a place that I wanted to be. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't topping the list. They're very much foodie based though. So oh, okay. maybe their experience is a lot different than what I would expect. But yeah. um, I don't know. Italy doesn't excite me much. I think Venice would be cool just because, you know, it's Venice. Yeah. But um, I also know that it's probably just packed with tourists. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but uh, besides that, I want to see the Matterhorn yeah. in Switzerland. That's, yeah. That is on my radar. 
Yeah, I just I I've been trying to plan a trip to go to Banff. Banff, yep. yeah. That that's been that's the pl- that's where I want to go. It, it's it's amazing. I've heard it's just packed with tourists too, so maybe I'm going to wait a little bit and see if it kind of calms down yeah. and then uh but Canadian cities really excite me. I think Yeah, I've never been to Canada. I it's so accessible. Either. Yeah, it's yeah. right here, but I mean, I really want to go to Toronto. Yeah. They've got some really cool architecture there. Um I've heard Montreal is awesome but that's not really high on my yeah i heard quebec city is really quebec city i've heard is really nice too and then uh vancouver just looks cool Mm -hmm. uh and then calgary has a beautiful skyline yeah so that's the closest city to map so yeah if you're there you might as well exactly that's that was a plan to fly into there and then drive up yeah but yeah just the the mountains and stuff it just looks amazingly yeah, well, I, I we actually last two years ago. I don't know. I really wanted to do a Tough Mudder, and there was one near Calgary, and I was like, oh. I could go do that there. And then I thought about it, and I was like, the altitude might be troublesome. Might, yeah. Um, and then it just logistically didn't work out. But I, that's something I'd do. Why not? Yeah. You know, just, just try for happens. something, go, and I yeah. mean, you're gonna complete it. I mean, I would just force myself to do it <laughs> yeah, and then I'm crawling across the finish line yeah yeah i mean it's fine and then you can go hike in the mountains the next yeah. day. it's fine yeah <laughs> but um do you do a lot of those kind of events like the tough mutters and no like... i've never done one but oh, okay. i just know i could compete or like complete one probably not compete but you know that's the <laughs> obstacle one right yeah. where there's like all this stuff yeah yeah you get like electrocuted and stuff <laughs> <laughs> just you know it happens sounds like a good time yeah is, isn't there there's another one like that but the um, Spartan, Spartan race. race that's yeah, what I'm thinking of. I think that yeah. one's a little shorter. Which well, might how not long be... is a tough mutter? Originally, I thought it was like eight miles, but okay. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. I think they've shortened some of them too, just to make them more accessible for yeah. everyone. Yeah, because I'm doing, yeah. it, I'm gonna do like the full one. Yeah, I'm not gonna check it out. <laughs> like whip out and do like a two mile. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, two miles is my warm up. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, because uh, I just finished running my second marathon, so Oof. like. Yeah. Have, See, you, have you ever thought about that? I've thought about it, but then I'll go run 13 miles. Nah, I've never even run 13 miles. 10 miles. Yeah. 10 miles is like my max. And I did that. That's a good distance, though. It's not bad. Um, By the end of it, I'm like crawling. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. The last, the, right before the Brewers were in the playoffs, I decided, you know what? Screw it. If the Brewers can make it to the postseason, um, I can make it to Miller Park. And I live downtown here. So yeah. it's five miles to Miller Park. And oh, okay to get back it was another five miles and by that last it, like though. nine like <laughs> once i hit nine or nine point yeah. five is like oh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this but i mean if you ran consistently it would probably be probably if i did it consistently yeah. yeah it's just hard yeah i don't like running that much and the playlists get kind of old so <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what i feel like a lot of like because i i love to run and i just love to just like go um, when I was doing mar- my marathon training, there were some days where I ran like 20 miles Oof. and, uh, but it's just like, it's so therapeutic. I just kind of just turn my mind off and just run and just listen to music or a podcast or whatever. But like a lot of people are like, how do you not get bored? Like, right. Right. Like, Cause no, I'm that's moving. It. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No, the moving thing's cool for me. I mean, just the way my mind works, just seeing different things, seeing yeah. you know, what's changed. I mean, the cool thing about being in a city is everything's constantly changing. Like yeah. nothing's staying the same. You're getting new towers. You're getting new people you're getting new restaurants and you're just like oh i gotta check that place out oh i gotta check that place yeah out. so yeah there's sometimes when i would be running and i'm like oh that'd be a cool picture and then i would just be like well it's three miles away i don't know if i want right, to right. walk to go there no that's a big thing too is i try to walk wherever i'm gonna go take a photo yeah i mean that kind of limits me geographically to downtown but but then you miss stuff, you know, you might, right. you might walk past something that's really cool. Right. Yeah. Right. You that's just, true. If that's you true. drove, you wouldn't so see it. So I always try to take my camera and my drone, um, just in case I do Yeah, want to switch gears. And are you, cause you take some pictures in Chicago. Are you down there a lot? Um, recently more and more. Is it first specifically to take pictures or just one day I went down there with the drone cause I wanted to get a shot of the skyline. Um, I don't know why. I just, <laughs> it was like a Tuesday and I was like, screw it. I'm going to Chicago. Yeah. So drove down there and reserved a parking spot for like 12 bucks on some app. And really, you yeah. can do that on an app. Now? You can do that on an app. Yep. Wow. Um, so I went down there and I took the drone out and it was a good time. Yeah. Cause Treated I- myself to a nice dinner. So <laughs> <laughs> got to treat yourself. Yeah. I mean, I went to Carson's, which 
Oh, the, is We've that the steakhouse? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got one here, and I've never I didn't been know to this chain. One. I've been to that one twice. There's only two locations. Okay. I think there's there and here. Oh, okay. That's the original. This is the oh, it is one. Yeah. It's really fancy though, isn't it? It's pretty fancy, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's not. It's not. I don't know. I think it seems more fancy than it actually is. I think so. I think if you just put steakhouse on things, it always just seems more. Right. Fancy. It's like oh crap. Oh, I can't walk I in there. Bring my wallet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or forget it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't forget that. Yeah. Um. And and you also you're wearing a Bucks shirt oh, today. Absolutely. Yeah. Always. Are you an avid fan? Have you always been a fan? I have not always been a fan. Um. I, I guess have a, a follow up question. Do you hate the people that are fans and just now because they're good? Rather, no, I would rather see the fan base grow because I know like that's a support. sign of yeah. the success of the team. Yeah. And I mean, before I kind of got into the box, I guess once the ownership changed, like I've always, they've always just been like my team only because, you know, yeah. you grew up in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like that's your team. Yeah. Um, but the NBA didn't really excite me. I guess the NFL has been going down for me and the yeah. NBA is like going up. Yeah. And I mean, I guess that's kind of. I mean, the teams are kind of doing the same thing. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's just like true. more recent. But um, for me, I I think once the ownership changed and, you know, there was, you know, there's like this light coming from the Bucks. I mean, it's like, hey, you know, pay attention to us. Yeah. Um, we want you and we want to do good things. And then they built the new arena. So, yeah. I mean, everything's just been new, new logos. New I like players. the new logo. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. No. Yeah. The ownership there has done an incredible job. So. I, I feel like I feel the same way about uh, the Brewers. The and Brewers, like, yeah. It, I used to go to games with like my dad and stuff, but I wasn't like super excited about it right. because like no one in the organization seemed to be excited about right. it or right. even cared. And I think that matters a lot. I mean, yeah. if you don't have a team that you know they're not putting their money where their mouths are, I mean, like you can own a team, yeah, great. But if yeah. you're not going to do anything with them, what's the purpose of owning them? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean the Bucks are putting their money where their mouth is. And yeah. I mean they're they're second in the division or conference, right? Second, I think, overall in the NBA. Really? Yeah, Toronto's number Toronto, one. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm still not a huge NBA watcher. Um yeah. have but you been to the, the Pfizer? No. No. Oh, you gotta go. I know. I you really want go. to. I, I'm I'm probably gonna go to a Marquette game there, is what I was thinking. You gotta go to a Bucks game first. <laughs> you have to do it. I mean, yeah. Is it just cooler? The atmosphere with the Bucks. I guess than... I've never gone to a Marquette game, so I can't talk. Well, I'm sure Marquette. there's less people there for sure. At oh, a Marquette there's gotta game. be. There's yeah. gotta be. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the Bucks. I mean, even, it doesn't matter who they're playing lately. I mean, the place is. Just packed. I mean, it's packed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if every game. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're all technically sellouts. Yeah. Sure. But, um, the seats are all just like. I don't know. I think with that entertainment plaza outside, yeah. people are getting, they're a little more slow to get into their seats just because there's yeah. so much going on now. Yeah. And I think it's going to get, I mean, once those establishments open up, it's going to be yeah. even crazier. But I think just the whole vibe over there is going to be awesome with yeah. like game day atmosphere. And I think that's what we need um, as a city. Yeah. I mean, the more infrastructure and the more local stuff they can build and you can go to the better yeah i think and everything's bright lights over there it's like it's it feels like a big city it feels like you know milwaukee's finally like shaking the rust off and yeah like, hey we're, <laughs> we're here. building we're, things we're now. ready to play yeah you know yeah check it out um so yeah no that's really exciting to me The um i mean they're just building it up over there it's crazy yeah so when were you first kind of more into when did the new ownership come in uh, i think it was probably about five years ago okay um I think it was like when, when I started Giannis, pharmacy school. Or something? Um, I think it was it was before, before that. that. It was oh, before really? that. So maybe six years ago. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, they kind of came in with a bang, and everything's turning out well for them. So yeah, yeah. I mean, the the climb to where they are now is pretty insane to me. Yeah, I mean, because they were notoriously bad. Oh, terrible. for years. Terrible. Like, yeah. It was a it was a joke. Right. Yeah. Now, they, I mean, they've got, they're, they're doing the right things with their players and, yeah. you know, I mean, how can you not be a fan of Giannis? The, the thing that I like about the Bucks generally more than that has annoyed me for years about the Packers is that they're willing to pay for people to come. Right. They're willing to get good players here and they realize that they cost money. Right. To I mean, get them. you can't say that the Packers weren't willing to pay for Aaron Rodgers because well, yeah. they put their money where their mouth was. Like, with him. For him. But for I mean, him. I'm yeah. talking about like. The, the, they're just notoriously non-free agent, you know. Right, right. They're they're the build from within, which is I, great. 
think that's going to have to change. If you can if draft you compete, all no. great players, right, right? Which never happens, right? No, I think that's going to have to change. And I think that I mean, just overall, the NFL is just. I don't know. They're they're struggling. I think right now because people aren't yeah. showing up to games like they used to. And yeah, they're trying to they're trying to do with the with the, what baseball's trying to do too, where it's like the fan base is growing older and older and older, mm-hmm. and they're not attracting like the youth and the right. younger people as well as right. they, they did before. So like they're like panicking and like right. what do we like we do now to make it cooler? For right, kids? right, right. Um, I mean like that's that's where the NBA is, you know, doing the right thing i mean they're yeah. investing like the bucks put in a new playground at a new sc- yeah. a school over in the inner city and i mean they're getting out in the public and you know letting their presence be known so yeah. and and they're also marketing themselves to the state which i think is brilliant because before they never did what do you mean um i mean even if you look at the bucks logo set now they've got one with the state of Wisconsin. oh yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah i mean that that's huge i mean that's gonna build your brand yeah I mean, that's what the brewers did yeah and look i mean you can draw people from all over the state for your games yeah so yeah bus trips down and yeah do, are you a brewers fan too for sure yeah like, brewers, brewers for sure yeah yeah um do you have season tickets and stuff i do not have season tickets to the brewers no no that's a lot of games I, that's way too many games <laughs> i was looking at even like I probably go to like four or five games a year. Yeah. And that's my max. Yeah. Because no, I mean, that's, that's probably where I'm averaging too. Yeah. Um, usually it's like the season opener. Um, yeah. And then, then a sprinkling you know, of like you'll go in there. There's one game me and my old roommate and I, we went to, it was, uh, there was like a blizzard going on and is this in April? It was early. It was really early. Yeah. It was probably April. Um, and then, uh, we found some like dirt cheap tickets. We just, I had off, I think it was like a Wednesday and we just hopped on a shuttle from Jack's over on Brady street. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was, was it for it, real snowing? Like hard? It was snowing hard. There was like six inches on the ground, I think. And we they just forgot took, to close the roof. Oh no. The, roof, be funny. the roof was closed. Yeah. No, but there was nobody there. We bought like $7 tickets. It was for like row eight. We sat in the second row. I mean, there was nobody in the front row. We could have sat there yeah. too, but we we're like, we're gonna. We're just gonna sit back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's cool but, though. Yeah, there's nobody in the stadium. It was. It was really interesting. It was kind of cool too, just because you know there's a blizzard going on outside. But yeah. here we are in Milwaukee playing baseball. That's the nice thing about the roof. The roof is amazing. Yeah, you can yeah. play literally at any time of year. Anytime. Yep. Anytime doesn't matter. Um. So on, I guess a more photography front. Mm-hmm. Um. What do you? Where do you want to go with that? Like, what? What are your plans? Oof. In the future, do you just? You're just gonna keep kind of going. And I think I'm gonna where... just. I mean, I don't have an objective with that. I'd like to get a website just because I've had people inquire about you know buying prints and stuff. Sure. Uh, so that's an ideal next step. But besides that, I guess you know just keep taking you know cool Cause it, new photos because a lot of your photos get shared by a lot of different they accounts. Do. Yeah, and I'm really you know proud of that, and I'm very thankful for these organizations and people for sharing them. Um, I don't have any intention of, you know, replacing pharmacy as a photographer. Yeah. I mean, I've got too much student debt for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. That's a problem with going to private school. Right. Or you didn't even go to private no, school. No, I didn't. Pharmacy oh, did. school was private. Oh, okay. Um, and then it was in Chicagoland and it was super expensive. Oh, my gosh. So. Yeah, I went to Bradley, which is in mm. Peoria, Illinois. Okay. Um, and I to, to this day, I just regret going to a private school. Yeah. I'm like, I should have just gone to UWM. Right. I no, UWM, I mean, UWM is expensive too. I mean, not, not, as, not expensive. as expensive, no. But it's, I mean, like what, school is just outrageous right oh, now. Man. I don't understand. But I don't either because I didn't feel like I learned that much there, to be no. honest. No, <laughs> not enough. Like when I graduated, I had $92,000 worth of student debt Ooh. from undergrad. Wow. Only. That's crazy. I know. That's crazy. And wow. I had scholarships. Yeah. That's well, the that's, nuts that's part. That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm worse than you, but well, you went you went to I went, extra yeah. school too. I went to extra, yeah. <laughs> I feel, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's school is outrageously expensive. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like it needs to be like so that. So I guess if I can make photography as like you know enough to ex- pay off your student loans every month or pay the minimum, no, that's no my way. dream. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's, I'm sorry, it's no. not happening. <laughs> no, that's what my real job's for. Yeah, um, but no, uh, taking photos and you know if I can make some money off of it, great. If I can't, you know whatever. Yeah, but it's just something for it's an outlet for me to be creative and you know I guess at the point where it turns and that's the big thing for me. If it's not going to be fun for me. 
yeah. or if it becomes like a job, that's not what I want to. Yeah, because then what's uh, the point? Yeah, because like, then you're not enjoying it. Um, I've had some companies reach out to me, and I'm open to you know shooting some drone photos for you. Like, yeah, that's that's fine. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to turn it into a career, but yeah. if I can get some gigs out of it, fine. But that, that I guess that's not my intention. Yeah, because I I, I've I've started so many creative things and just have stopped because they just they weren't fun. Right. So until once you lose that, it's like right. You kind of lose a lot. That I don't want to lose that. So because I don't know what to do next. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't. Do yeah. You have any other hobbies besides or like stuff you do on the side? I like going to the gym, but yeah. I mean, I could sold too. I'm just. I don't know. You could start like a fitness Instagram account or something. Could you could just start flexing in the gym really start, hard. Yeah, just like take just pictures. selfies everywhere. No. <laughs> do what gym do you go to? Uh, I go to Anytime Fitness. Just, okay. I was going to say. It's included in rent. Okay. So. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. That's Is that nice. really? Yeah. I've never yeah. heard that before. Yeah, no. Um, the North End, if you live in certain buildings, you get oh. Anytime Fitness included in your rent. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. I was going to say, if you went to like a gym that is more like Gold's or something. If you saw people actually flex it. I've seen people take pictures of themselves in the gym. Oh, yeah. For, for, for sure. Or, like, set their phone down on the ground, and, like, oh, then God. they start doing deadlifts oh, or no. something. No. I've seen that happen. People need to stop doing that. And uh, where was it at? It was at Experience Fitness. You better have the best form. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on you at that point. I then, mean, Because yeah. you're filming yourself. And yeah, I mean, like, are oh, you okay. doing Facebook Live at that point? Yeah, or like, are you, you know, what just you, what, videotaping yeah, yourself? I don't know. Maybe you're checking out your own form. Who knows? Who knows That's if true. you're just using it for your That's personal... True. I was quick you know, to judge. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe you <laughs> want to watch it back to see if he was... <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like, was I deep enough? Yeah. No. No. I've got to redo that one. Go back and do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Um... No, I'm not. I'm not about that. I, I, but I, I, it's just so funny when you see those people. Cause I, I, I'm always kind of like, well, I want to see what the end result is. Like, I want to see your Instagram because I want to see what, cause I saw it live happen. Right. <laughs> so I want to see what the end result is right. of like where, how you post this and like, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's kind of cool too. I always wonder that too. You see people like, I don't know if you go to some touristy areas, you see tons of people with cameras. What yeah. do these people do with their photos? I know. That's what I wonder, too. Mm -hmm. I was in Portland recently, and there was a bunch of people around with, like, tripods and stuff. What are they taking pictures of that? Yeah. What you... Well, it, mean... was, it was, like, the nature and stuff. Oh, okay. The nature. The, you know. The nature. The nature. <laughs> yeah. It's out there. No, I mean, Portland's a cool-looking city from what I've seen. I've never been there. But, yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't feel like Portland has that signature skyline that everyone is, like, no. oh, like, Seattle's got the Space Needle. And yeah. Dallas it's more of a spread-out kind of... Uh, um, low rise city. yeah 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 there's not really many skyscrapers right there's a lot of bridges though that are pretty cool yeah there that'd be cool yeah but no i always wonder that and i would i would be taking pictures and you'd see other people like look at me and then they come over to the spot i took pictures in and then yeah, take more no, pictures they do that. it's yeah. really weird um <laughs> it's really weird <laughs> yeah yosemite i saw a lot of that too i was like okay it's like what is he seeing and here? it bothers me that everyone lines up and they're trying to take the same exact photo yeah and i'm just like okay everyone's seen this photo before yeah nobody wants to see it you again. go to someone else's account and get it right you know it's, let me just you go on you know some image yeah company and just take it <laughs> yeah I mean, just a stock photo <laughs> stock photo that's what i was looking yeah. for yeah yeah unless there's people in it like what's the point yeah you know if, i mean if there's like People standing in the way taking other photos too. I don't know what I would do that with that photo. Do you edit your photos like intensively? Oh, yeah. Um, I take people out of my photos sometimes. I've never taken people out of my photos. I just find really good times and yeah. make sure there's not people there in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if if you if you do long exposure stuff, doesn't that kind of weed out people? Out. Yeah. 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 So sometimes the the cool thing for me lately is like I like doing a long enough exposure that it blurs the person, but sure. it doesn't like totally eliminate them yeah because so they're kind of like a ghost right yeah i i don't know that's kind of cool to me i've been messing around with the aperture settings too lately on my camera because i've never really monkeyed with that it's always been the shutter oh okay. that i've been playing with yeah yeah, yeah. But never never that so i don't know i'm still finding new ways to play with the camera video scares me yeah video. that's that's my my job so yeah. i mean that, yeah. that, that that's more I'll let you keep that i'll let you keep that because <laughs> the editing and video is just seems so oh, that's overwhelming. my favorite part yeah seems overwhelming and the file sizes are so big oh yeah and i'm just like i have no idea what i do with this <laughs> and for me to picture a, a moving shot yeah i could probably do it if i started thinking that way yeah but that's not the way i not way yeah, yeah 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 especially so. with a drone doing video would be really cool yeah no that's that's really cool too like i don't know there was the rivers froze over kind of cool the other day yeah. so i tried to do like a shot of it like 
flying over the starting straight yeah. down on the snowy part of the river and it was like speckled and flew up i looked cool but my movement of the drone and the, the shot just wasn't as smooth as like I yeah envision it but i guess if i practiced it i could probably do better well, but I still wouldn't yeah. know what to do with the video. So. Have, have you ever seen those uh, drone people that like are intense? Like oh, they're so good at yeah. flying through stuff. Yeah, that is that makes me anxious watching those videos. Yeah, how no. close they are to hitting like walls and oh, windows and like I know how. Like <laughs> that's what I always think. Right. No, my my drone movement is very calculated. Very. I don't know. I know where I'm trying to go with it. Sometimes the wind and the seagulls don't want you to go that way. But yeah, have you gotten? Have you hit a, like a bird or I something? I haven't hit anything. Except for a tree. I hit a tree. Okay. Um, but that, That's par for the course, I feel like. Yeah, I was trying out the tracking feature on it, and my brother was running up the street, and it started swinging out wide, and then I was not paying attention to it, and it just <laughs> smacked into the tree. Did it fall, or did it get stuck in the it tree? It got stuck in the tree, but we got uh, like a rake and just knocked okay. it down. It wasn't that high. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, no, um, I was like, what, what do you do at that point, then? Does I it get stuck? don't know. Yeah. I mean, I tried just spinning the propellers, and I was like, it's going to fall if I do that, though. Yeah. So you want to be careful. I mean, it's an expensive toy. You don't want to lose it or break it. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I guess that's the only time I've hit anything, and thank God it was a tree. But seagulls, especially down here, they're very aggressive. Oh, yeah. They will swoop down, and then they'll swoop back around, and... Yeah. They're cawing at you. One like attacked me while I was flying the drone. What? Yeah. It was like swooped down. I was paying attention to the drone as you should be. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I just like see this white thing come out <laughs> the corner of my eye and it swoops down. It was probably within like two feet of me. Seriously? Yeah, it was so close. Oh. Those seagulls are bigger than you think they are. Especially <laughs> <laughs> when they get that close to yeah. your head. Yeah. Yeah. The birds down here are kind of aggressive. Yeah. The one interesting thing I noticed about Milwaukee is, you know, like you go to other cities and there's pigeons everywhere. Yeah. You don't see many here. You don't see any here. You see seagulls. A lot of seagulls. Where are the pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> They've all left. Yeah. No, they're probably or eaten or by they the never seagulls. Came. Yeah. Yeah. They're so big. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. So. Yeah, it's true. It's weird. You, yeah. you can definitely you can spot some pigeons on uh, Brady Street if you go sometimes. Okay, I've yeah. never yeah that close. Go out, yeah. I'm on Brady Street a lot, but not not enough to see the pigeons. Not enough to see the pigeons, apparently. Yeah, I mean, the, I run on the lakefront sometimes, and there's a specific type of bird. And I read an article about it later that they're very aggressive. It's like a blackbird with uh, the red. Yeah, yeah, those ones come at you hard and oh, fast. Yeah, yeah no. The- <laughs> I've been running back home, and those those ones that come out of the, the marsh and attack you. Yeah, I don't know what they are, but they're. I very did read on the line that they're super friendly, though. So I don't know what oh, really? I do or what you do to piss yeah. them off. Maybe it's my like just my aura. Yeah, they just don't like. <laughs> it just doesn't like. Yeah. They, they don't like you. <laughs> they, they come run, out of trees. Run faster. Maybe and they're it, just motivating you. Who knows? They it does because like <laughs> I'll be running, and then uh, there's those trees on the lakefront that kind of overhang the path, mm-hmm. and they'll come out of those trees and. The, the way I see it is like the shadows coming down so I can see something. And then I look back and it's like doing that thing where it's flying back. Oh, we're trying to yeah. land on you. Yeah. Oh God. I oh, was yeah. screaming. <laughs> I was screaming and running. See, the only birds I've been chased by over there is geese. But they're aggressive too. And they're very huge. aggressive. And they hiss at you. Yeah. I always, I never knew a geese was part snake, but yeah. apparently, yeah. <laughs> Their tongues. Have you gotten and, bit by one? No. Uh, no. It hasn't gotten that close? No, no, no. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm faster than the geese. Which is crazy because like, when we're younger, we could like feed the geese. And right. Like right. parents are like, yeah, go feed them bread. And now and they're stuff. like, don't give the geese yeah. bread. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> all right. <Yeah>. Fine. <laughs> but now they're going to take me. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to take me away now. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, do you have any last second plugs? Anything you want to want to give a mm. shout out to? Your Instagram. My Instagram at Nate Vomhoff. Um, go ahead and follow me. I like to follow local creatives back. So if you're local and creative, you yeah. know follow you back otherwise uh if, if you don't follow them back though now they know they're ooh. not local or creative yeah you're not local <laughs> or creative so no that's how you know no i'm not big into those games but i'm always down to check out you know <laughs> the follower people. count the yeah. follower count i that i don't care like I don't, i'm following more people than follow me i don't oh, really for care. sure me too yeah there's so many great creative people out there yeah and then you add in some athletes and some celebrities and yeah there you go. You're already Boom. at three thousand. You're already at three thousand. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, besides that, what plugs? No. 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 Well, thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks yeah. for having me. This has been uh, fifty-five minutes. Fifty-five minutes. It went goes pretty by. Quick. Yeah, it goes by. It went by pretty, pretty quick. quick. So much. Yeah, God, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> <laughs>